Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. We're back in it. My headset is too loud. Uh, as I was just telling chat, I'm sick. I've been sick like, I don't want to say on and off, but for the past like four days I've been sick and at first it was just like, oh, just a sore throat. Not really that bad. But then this morning it just felt terrible. Absolutely terrible. Slept for like an extra two and a half hours after I woke up and then my grandfather, thank goodness, brought me some medicine that I took about an hour ago. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it, uh, let it ride and see, see how I end up feeling as we go here. But, uh, I apologize ahead of time if my voice sounds off and especially for the amount of coughing I'm probably going to do during these couple of YouTube videos. Behold, I caught stuff, 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 words. I'm sick. You can't make fun of my misspeak. I caught a lot of things off stream. I actually got two of these little scumbags. They're both level 19 somehow. But I got two of these idiots. I caught an extra Dratini because it was like, it was there. Uh, and then I got both of these losers. And then I also caught Digno, who makes me want to die inside. But we're gonna unfuse this idiot. I was just gonna let you see Digno before I freed Dano from this curse. So now we have a Dano as well, very Pog champion. You go over here with the other people who may be used one day, but who knows. So now, I also leveled up Jet's Butterfree. It was the linchpin of catching all these Pokemon. I just realized that Jet's Butterfree is adamant. That's disgusting. Truly terrible. Look at that Spadef stat though. But uh, yeah, Sleep Powder helped with catching these, specifically the Dano and the Beldums. But uh, yeah. Now, the thing is, is I don't know what I'm going to fuse these little freaks with. You get back in my party in place of you. You sit here, teleport boy. Give me Cyndaquil. Now, there is just the possibility that we slap Cyndaquil and Totodile together and call it a day. Not sure if that's the route I want to take, though. Honestly, there's a big part of me that if they do have a unique fusion, kinda wants to do... Kinda wants to do, uh... Dano with Totodile, and actually, let's just see if that's even, like, a possibility real quick. Okay, they do have a Dark Water unique sprite. They don't have a Water Dragon one. I've apparently already seen this one. I mean, it, it looks like Totodile with Dano's hair. But who knows, it could, it could get better from there. A trainer must have had that one, and I don't remember. Beldum is the real thing here, though. Okay, there's a Dark Psychic and a Steel Dragon option for uh, Beldum and Dano, which is super tempting. Can you fuse with Cyndaquil? We already have like a good Steel Fire type, don't we? For something or other. Steel Water could be really fun. Steel Water is like uh, Delta Haxorus in Insurgence. Mm, steel Ground, which would be Steel Dark, which is like Bisharp and then Rock Psychic. What about Beldum with Ponyta? Oh, oh, oh. That's tempting. Bug Psychic, Steel Fire. We, we don't want Steel Fire. These both look incredible. It's just like, everything is gonna be good with Beldum. Oh, I think I also, did I catch this Axew as well when I was grinding out like the Totodile catches and all? I might have. I don't know why else this would be here. Dragon Psychic, Steel Dragon. Steel Dragon, mighty tempting. Little baby Dialga possibility. I still haven't fused Bagon with anything. Anyways, we don't really need to worry about it right now because we have plenty of Pokemon on us. Do we need to level up? Look at, look at Charcerus, by the way. He's just chilling. That dude's unstoppable. There's still a part of me that's considering, uh unfusing Crocoloom, but we'll, we'll see. This idiot needs to get to level 48 to see if it has a unique Dragon Ice Sprite. I wonder, could we make like a, a super fire type? We could, and there are two options for it, which is interesting. 
Do we have... I was about to say, do we have a water fire type? Did I... I wanted a water fire type. Did we get one? Or no, I was considering it was Cyndaquil and Totodile. But what if... What if... Growlithe... Totodile. Like, that's... Kinda tempting. Did Totodile have a, uh, a Dano one? It did, didn't it? Yeah, the dark water one. It looks really basic, though. Also, it loses the dragon half. I like dragons. Any permanent never-changing party members? Never-changing as in they never go in the... They never go in the PC? No, that doesn't exist. We have some Pokemon that are, like, our top brass. Like, uh... Charxorus, really high... A high level, or high on the team. Lopvar and Luxfan, two of our, like, go-tos. Never changing is never unfusing? Oh yeah, plenty. Luxfan, Lopvar, Charxorus, Altitech, I doubt I'll ever change. This is a full female team, huh? You, I really want to level up Slugtick today, because I remember we benched Slugtick for a while, because look at his stats, they're atrocious. He just got, like, because he's a Joltik and a Slugma, he's just, like, hot garbage. But now we're getting to low 40s. He just has to get to level 38. And then, theoretically, he should pop off. So we're going to give him the experience share, and hopefully we can get uh, Macargo Galvantula today. Uh, we're going we're gonna to beat up this Snorlax. I'm going to, like, I'm going to kick it in the face. A large sleeping Pokemon is blocking the path. I will play the Pokey Flute. <laughs> Again, I apologize for all the coughing I will be doing during this stream. It woke up. It attacked. Oh no, it's mean. Why does it look so tiny? We're not going to catch this, by the way, because if I really want a Snorlax fusion, we have a Munchlax. Uh, never mind. It has leftovers. I will be catching it. Oh, by the way, I had to buy some Pokeballs when I was catching all those Pokemon off stream. They have Ultra Balls in the Mart now, and not only do they have Ultra Balls, but the game devs actually realized how bad Ultra Balls are compared to, like, Great Balls in terms of how much they cost. So the Ultra Balls only cost 800 Poke instead of 1,200, like I think they normally do. So that's only 200 more Poke than a Great Ball, so I think they're actually worth purchasing now. Why is he floating? Why aren't you floating? Did you ever think of it like that? Oh! This is perfect, actually. Thank you for making this easier for me. You'll live another one. Don't high roll. Nice. Alright, now I just need to catch it on this Pokeball before it wakes up and clicks, uh, rest again. I really want those leftovers. I want him bad. Ah. Okay, well, it's stupid, thankfully. Kiss, would you like to know if you missed a secret area? No. Stay in there. You scumbag. What the heck is this thing's catch rate? Timer Ball Max's effect from 10th turn onwards. Is it 10 or is it 12? I thought it was 12. But I haven't played Pokemon in so long. I knew it was definitely like 10 plus. I thought 12 was the exact number. I'm not keeping track of turns. We're probably around 10 turns by now. I have an Ultra Ball anyway, so what does it matter? Got him! Thank you for the leftovers. I don't know, maybe I'll fuse you with something later. I'll consider it. BWT, thank you for something to tier one for 30 months. Greatly appreciated. I'm coming to get you, belly flop. <laughs> Why is it? Why is it wearing that? Is this, um, is this from Jurassic Park? I like this one. I also like this one. Uh, we'll do that one. Moo. This thing's 611? Yo, Snorlax is gonna get so many hits on Tinder. Alright, we'll go get those leftovers later. 
I... I can't... Okay, that, that man is a statue. I can't talk to him. Is that Bianca from Gen 5? Whoa, I can almost see all the way to Cinnabar Island from up here. Bikers on the cycling road are scary tough. The route to Fuchsia City is shorter by using the cycling road than by Route 13, but its trainers are way tougher. Hi, I'm Bianca. I'm visiting from the Yanova region. Sure enough. Sure feels different from back home here, especially with all these fused Pokemon everywhere. Here's something from the region I come from. Ah, Castelia Cones. These are, uh, full heals, aren't they? Castelia Cones are a specialty of Castelia City and Yanova. It's a huge metropolis, much bigger than any city here in Kanto. You should come visit sometime. That's a neat little, uh... That's a really neat little... Easter egg? Well, now that she said the trainers are so much stronger here, I'm wondering if we want to, uh... The heck? Okay. Don't fastballs have a higher catch rate against Pokemon that have a base speed of 100 or something? <coughs> what kind of Pokemon we got? Anyways, I'm wondering if, if they really are stronger on Cycling Road. Maybe we should go south from Lavender first, but I kind of just want to get to Fuchsia. We'll end up going down whatever, what they say it was Route 13. We'll end up doing both either way. Just to try and see more cool sprites and stuff. Fastballs were higher catch rate for mons that had a high- that had a chance to run away? Are you sure about that? Is that a Torchic? Get in there? This sprite is a mess. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. I am in desperate need of this starter Pokemon. I did not think we would run into the Gen 3 starters this quick. I so badly want to catch this so I don't have to deal with trying to catch it on my own time. What are you probably fire poison right now? I'm really afraid to hit it at all. All it takes is one annoying crit. Oh, I have fusion balls. I should be throwing fusion balls. One annoying crit or like misjudgment of statistics and then I have to find this thing again. Where's the safari zone? Uh, if it's like it is in the normal Kanto games, it should be in Fuchsia. Dude, luckiest encounter of this playthrough. That was incredibly lucky for us. All right, well, I'll unfuse that freak once we get back. The Curlipede Chick Pokemon. We have a Torchic now. Very Pog. I do like Rose Raid. Not sure with the amount of Pokemon we have if I really want to try and get a Rose Raid fusion going. And you know, just we're we're just taking in the sights, catching Torchic. Nothing major. Hi, Ponyta. <coughs> Skarmory. Gligar is also interesting, don't get me wrong. But Skarmory. It's a rule that you always have to be on a bike on the cycling road, but I never like playing by the rules. Oh yeah, I didn't realize this guy isn't on a bike. Is that allowed? Is this allowed? Rovile? That is really awesome! Holy cow, that's incredible. I'm gonna flinch you. Okay, you're faster, never mind. I lied. You might die to Accelerock? Nice. I can tell you where you can get Evo Stones if you want. Nope. You will get timed out. If I want chat to just tell me where things are, then I will ask chat to do so. What on earth am I looking at? Flinch it. Resist it. Oh, you're Rock Fairy. So you're not Graham, so you shouldn't resist this. Where was my second crit? Ow! Oh, you crit. I was about to say, I didn't think that would do that much. Yeah. 
uh, water pulse. Be dead. Fur Pete? Is this fur fruit? Oh no, it's fur it. Okay. <coughs> Based off of this one trainer, Pokemon on Cycling Road aren't too high level. They're high 30s, which is about where we should be right now. Dead. Run up around. I don't need safeguard. Slugtick wants to learn Electro Ball. Do you have Galvantula speed or do you have Slugma speed? I'll get you Thunderbolt or something eventually. Rock Slide? For Galvantula? <laughs> I'm pretty certain you're a special attacker. Max Revive! Let's go back and heal real fast. Do, 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 do. Da -na 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 -na. Heal me, Pokemon Center. Heal me. I'm gonna go unfuse that Torchic real quick. I think you need to buy more DNA splicers. Hello. You poor freak. I really hate that it defaults to the Super Splicer. There we go. Whirlipede, you're pretty cool. You can, like, you can chill in here with my two Venipedes. Alright, well, I really hope we get Trico soon now. What about this? What if we make Cyndaquil a uh, firefighting type? That left one looks really good. Blaziken Metagross, though? Fire Psychic Blaziken Metagross? Does sound kind of tempting. Bum, bum. Da, na, 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 na. So many options. This would be fire flying in the end. Nope. What about with Totodile? Blaziken for alligator? We could. I am feeling like a fire water type with Totodile. Dark fire. Hound doom to the extreme. I already looked at that. Blaziken with a sword? What on earth is that one on the left? I have too many fire types now. Too dang many. Too dang many. We're not going to worry about it for now. Coming through. Back to the bike route. Do I want to try and get a Skarmory? I do like Skarmory. That's a Grimer. Oh, it's nighttime. There are different encounters. Skarmory still here at night? It is not. Just straight up muck, though, huh? <coughs> There's another person not on a bike right there. You heading to Fuchsia? Sure am. Virgil? <laughs> okay. That is very uncool. Get flinched, idiot. I love having Ax uh, Acceleroc words. Dude, this Dragoroc is awesome. That is horrifying. I think you're rock water. Yeah. Easiest dodge of my life. Now flinch him. Alas? Okay, we'll just dodge again. That also works. I love that animation. It's so much fun. Larve Chew. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. Please be Bug. Oh, wait. If you're Bug or Fire, you're weak to... It doesn't matter. You're weak to Rock no matter what. Crash and Burn. We grow ever closer to... Whatchamacallit? Stop! I'll steal all your money. Bet. Ever closer to... What is it gonna... It's Slug Ticks. gonna be like Magvantula? Rydal. Oh, that's really good. That is such a good one. Oh, that's sick. Don't be Graham. Alright, it's Crash Graham. 
I'm making you switch out, idiot. Out of my face. 